Tiffany recently learned a dark secret about her boyfriend's past, and it's threatening their relationship. You see, back when he was a teenager, Alex was accused of molesting a close relative. And now, Tiffany fears he may be doing the same thing to their daughter. Take a look. I don't know who to believe because recently my boyfriend Alex's relative approached me, accusing him of physically and sexually abusing her when she was a child. If he's capable of doing this to another individual, it makes me question how safe he is to be around our daughter. I always found it weird that he never had family connections and that his family never wanted to be around him. He never wanted to bring my daughter around his family. When I confronted Alex about the accusations, he said that this particular family member had it out for him and he didn't think it was serious enough to bring it to my attention because he knew that it wasn't true. I really felt like he wasn't upfront with me. I get that he thinks that that's not a big accusation or maybe he thought that telling me upfront would be um, like a deal breaker for us. But I think based on the depth of our relationship, if he had explained it to me, I would have understood. The fact that I have to find out through a third party and confront him about it is very suspicious to me and it almost seems like he might have something to hide. If Alex fails this test, we're done. I would be ashamed and embarrassed that that's who my daughter has for a father. I cannot be with somebody that would harm my daughter and at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. So your girlfriend doesn't believe you? Not at all. So tell me what's, what's going on. So recently, a uh, family relative of mine told her that I sexually assaulted her when she was younger. Did you? No, not at all. What she's actually accusing me of is what happened to me when I was a child. Could this family member is saying um, what you did to her is actually what happened to you? Yes. Okay. I was, uh, when I was four to six, I was sexually assaulted by another family relative. And then after that, until I left the house, it was uh, all types of abuse, physical, mental, emotional. I was locked in a room for a year and a half. I was starved, uh, just all types of things. I've had my hands broken for stealing food because I was being starved. It sounds very traumatic for you. Um, how did the abuse end up stopping for you? When I was, I was in a group therapy session, I had to reenact what was going on in the household. And they were so concerned that they had called DCF. And I remember more than anything else from that one particular night, I was asked, do you want to go back to the household? And I said no, because I knew that I had an opportunity to free myself from the abuse and actually be happy for once, be, feel safe. And so they took you out of that situation? They, yep, they took me out. They put me into foster care. So then you become an adult and you, you, you meet um, Tiffany. Right? Yes. And you guys, how long have you been together? On and off for six years. Six years. And you, how old is your child? Two years. A little girl, right? Beautiful. Um, so you never tell Tiffany that what happened to you, right? No, because that's my business, and I feel like it does not concern her, and I, I know it's, well, I know and, it's a and, lie. And it has to be hard to discuss that with anybody, Yeah, because right? it's, it's embarrassing. It's... It just, it bothers me. I yeah. shouldn't have to relive it just for somebody else's sake. Why do you think this family member then came and told Tiffany what happened? I think it's because I was trying to reach out so that my daughter would have somebody from my side, you know? Um, do you regret that? Yeah, yeah. of course, because this came, this came too. Um, and I feel like the reason that this relative said that was because when we were younger, we were very close. And then when I left the household, I think they felt betrayed. So you're here, what, just to show that, I, I guess that you didn't do this to a family member, right? Mm -hmm. And that you would never touch your own daughter? Never. OK. And do you think, do you want this all to lead into a reconciliation with Tiffany, or? Yeah, of course. Well, let's meet Tiffany. I'm sick of defending you, Alex. I don't want to. I don't want to have to deal with this. I just, I'm tired of, you know, not you not being able to to believe me. I I've taken care of this girl. I've never had any issues before. You know that she loves me, 
And the fact that you can even entertain the thought that I would do anything to my daughter after what I've been through is just... Okay, but you understand, like, in our relationship, we've gone through a lot of things. We've overcome a lot of stuff. And it's just really hard for me to believe that somebody would go through the lengths to make you not part of the family, not allow you, like, your won't reach out to get to know your daughter. Who would go through the lengths to defend a lie? That's my problem. That's my situation. That's my family. But I don't get it's, involved. It's my do daughter. You, do you believe the fact that when he was going through this traumatic upbringing that he was abused? I do, and he's expressed that to me, but I just feel like... So all along, you're going along with this guy, you're having a baby with him, you believe him, you love him, and then some family member says something to you and it just blows up your whole relationship. It's not just this situation. There's a lot of things that him and I have gone through. Between the two of you. Between the two of us. Right. And this... But this allegation is something that It's really, a significant thing, and it was it's a something bombshell. that... Yeah, and it's something that he's gone through. It's something that I went through as a child. So you have no proof that he did anything except hearsay. Right. And that's the thing that's the most frustrating is that... How does he, how does he act as a father to your child? He's a good father. He's a good father. And I'm a great father. Is that true? <laughs> yes. So do you really have serious doubts whether he touched your daughter? I don't have doubts that he did. I would be very shocked if he fails this test. So why are you here but for? I just, I owe an explanation to my daughter and I can't allow something. You owe an explanation to your daughter for what? Like if, if he did do something to this family member and I continue a relationship with him, um, First how of will all, my daughter... Okay, let's say this, let's, let's do this. If he did something, it was when he was a child, right? Okay. Right. And if he did do it, he himself was a victim of molestation. I just want the best for my daughter, and I don't want it, the situation to happen to her what's and the have worst to defend thing he it did, afterwards. What's the worst thing he did to you? Him and me, we, we have a lot of struggles No, ourselves. but I'm saying, is it the fact that he didn't tell you right away about his past? I think that it's... Like, I had to confront him about it and question him about it, and then he but just you, brushes it off. But, like, but I don't have a reason to feel like that's something significant that you tell somebody. We've been together for six years. But as a victim yourself, do you have any empathy for him as fact that he's embarrassed by what happened to him? He doesn't want to share that with really anybody? Yes, I do have empathy for it. Alex, you came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked you, did you ever touch your family member for your own sexual pleasure or gratification? You answered no. Did you ever do anything sexual with your family member? You answered no. Did you ever touch your daughter for your own sexual pleasure or gratification? You answered no. Did you ever do anything sexual with your daughter? You answered no. Results came back all the same, and it came back that you told the truth. Yeah. I'm I just sorry. want to say thank you, Steve, for this opportunity for me to be able to prove that I am who I said I was. You know, what's sad is uh, when I think about it, both of you, both of you say you have horrible childhoods, um, some really horrible stuff that happened to you. And because somebody whispered in your ear, you became a victim again, all over again as an adult. I never was a, a victim of sexual abuse, okay? Mm -hmm. But there's things in my past that are painful, that I don't want to talk about anymore, that I would just, you know, I know they're there, but they're in the past, and I keep them there. And it's my decision whether I'm going to talk about them or not, or the things I'm going to reveal to my children. All they need to know is, and, and all they need to feel, I never had to tell my kids, you know what? I'm gonna protect you. Right. That's a <laughs> given, Right. okay? That's a given. Or, I'm gonna be there for you. I'm not gonna let anybody hurt you. I'm going to feed you. Those are all givens, okay? So all I'm saying is, give this guy a break. Nobody should be deciding for him what he wants to share, what he doesn't want to share. And all that other family life, that's in the past. If he chooses to have a relationship with them, then he can. You, you have to care more about him than them.